How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to another video on this channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Unify Network Smart Power Strip 6 port version. I'm going to be showing you the entire product and unboxing it. I'm going to show you also how to adopt it into Unify Network and show you all of the features that it has to offer. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the videos and you appreciate the content. And if this video was helpful for you at all in your purchasing decision or just for some information, please give it a like. Uh, it helps the algorithms. Uh, we all know that at this point. It definitely help, help us out if this video helped you out. And if you're interested in hiring us for uh, consulting, for Unify Network, or for anything else related to our services, please contact us via our website at totaltechwnc.com. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Unify Smart Power Strip listing on Unify's store page, their US store here. The Smart Power Strip is a Wi-Fi connected power strip installed between an AC outlet and the power plugs of your internet connectivity hardware, modems, routers, etc. The Unify network continuously monitor monitors availability of an internet connection. If the connection drops, the Unify Smart Power Strip automatically restarts the connected devices by disconnecting power for a short period of time. What they're saying there is your Unify network application, once it disconnects from the internet for any reason, it will send a reboot to this power strip. So that's pretty cool. Um, if you're if you're away from your house and your internet cuts off, but you have a bunch of protect cameras and maybe you want to be able to see what's going on there, you know, this is just another way to help get the internet to come back on to eliminate downtimes. And we all know Unify is about having minimal downtimes, which is kind of nice. Our next paragraph here, the Unify Smart Power Strip offers six power control outlets for 125 volts AC uh, devices up to 1250 watts. Four USB Type-C ports can charge smartphones, reading lights, and other devices up to 1.5 amps per port. So let's take a look at this guy here and I'm going to be showing you the unboxing here in the next clip but just to show you on the page here you do have these four type C ports and your six uh, remote controlled outlets and it also does come with a wall mount kit so if you wanted to mount this to the wall you do have that option you have the factory reset button here and I'm assuming that this kills the entire connection to the uh, entire strip here but we'll find that out shortly. Uh, let's talk about what you need for this. So you need a Dream Machine Pro with an access point, you need a regular Dream Machine, or you need a security gateway with an access point. Uh, and it is managed through the Unify Network application. So uh, theoretically you could use this as a dumb, um, a dumb smart strip, power strip. But for $49 here, I highly would recommend you just go into Amazon and just picking up something cheap. So you definitely need to integrate this into your Unify network application to get its full functionality. And it seems like you do require a Dream Machine Pro with an, with an access point, a regular Dream Machine because it has an access point built in, or a security gateway with an access point and Unify network application. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this bad boy in person. All right, so let's go ahead and start unboxing the Unify Smart Power Strip. So here's the outside of the box here. It just has some of the features and the package contains the strip, the wall mount, and a couple screws for it. And right here is where we go ahead and tear this open. I'm doing this with one hand, so please bear with me here. It may not be super elegant. Scan here to get started. And look at that, right on top of the box. Scan here to get started, tells you how to do it. QR codes, take the plastic off, and here it is. I'm trying to get an, a, a feel for this thing here. So this is just soft plastic here. Let's go ahead and pull it out of the box. Like I said, bear with me one-handed here. And here we are, pretty nice and sleek. Here's where the blue LED will be dog here don't mind that your six ports and your four usb type c to the back here just some information about it and a nice long cable let's let me get this undone for you see approximately how long it is probably says right on the website but uh, there we go so seems like that is definitely longer than most um 
just standard power strips you'd buy from like Amazon or Best Buy or anything like that. Definitely seems like it is meant for uh, perhaps a rack solution to throw it in a rack because this does have a long enough power strip to go up and down the rack a fair bit. So turn this around again for you. That's pretty much it. We won't overkill it here. Let's see what's in the box. Here is your wall mount and a couple screws here at the bottom. Perfect. That is it. There we go. That is the Unify Smart Power Strip. Let's go ahead and get this adopted now. All right, so I'm now back to my computer on my Unify OS or Unify Network console here, part of Unify OS, excuse me. Uh, we are on the dashboard currently, but we're gonna go ahead to Unify Devices. And here we go, here's the USP strip here pending adoption so I'm just gonna go ahead and click adopt you can also do this from your phone with the Unify Network app as well um, pulls up real quick immediately pretty much after I had it plugged in and went right to the phone app it immediately pulled up came to my computer it was immediately there it is taking a moment to adopt though so we're sitting here waiting for it to adopt alright so now it has adopted here uh, we have it online it does have an IP address tells me that it is connected to my one access point and it seems to be on a different network here so it's an element network um, I want to say that they're using some sort of different protocol in the background here I, I, I'm not exactly sure I thought at one point I saw a thread and I thought maybe that for my modem outlet here and maybe that they were using thread just in case the network was down for some reason anyway I'm not 100% sure on that and it's really not described on Unify's website it is asking for an update here, so I am going to push an update to it. Um, it is going from 2.0.12.388 to 2.2.1.511, so that's what it came with out of the box for me, and that's what we're pushing it to, to, to as of 4.9.2022, so let's go ahead and confirm. And I'll be back once this update applies. All right, well, just to show off my real-world experience with Unify here, so remember how my Switch and my Access Point, they both had updates? Well, I tried pushing the update first just to the strip here to get this up to date. Um, and then it looked like it did it, and then it just comes back to the same message here saying update available. Um, it doesn't change firmware versions here at all. And so I was like, okay, let me update the switch and the access point. Maybe that is causing the problems. And I did that, um, but now they're just offline. I still have an internet connection. Um, I haven't tried the phone, but down here I'm still connected to the network and that's plugged into this switch. So <laughs> I'm not really sure what happened, but I'm just gonna go ahead and give the uh, PoE switch here a reboot, which will then in hand reboot the access point as well get them both rebooted because I checked on the switch and it's been online previously was up for 27 days and it still is it hasn't been rebooted in 27 days at least so let's just go ahead and reboot it and let's see what happens here I will, I will be back all right so after about an hour later of trying to get this update problem fixed I have finally gotten it fixed and our USP strip is up to the current uh, firmware version here so let's go ahead and dig into the nitty-gritty what can we do with this thing so here is the overview tab on the Unify devices tab it gives you the uh, model the Mac address the IP address and the firmware version and then below it also gives you the IP address again uh, the amount of uptime and what Wi-Fi networks it is connected to so it shows all three of mine here Insights tab will show you the total amount of uh, watts being drawn from this thing. So that's pretty neat. I do like this. That's nice to know just as a power user. Um, and then finally the settings. So here is where you actually cycle through and um, uh, you can uh, power cycle the, the devices here. You can also enable the uh, modem pa power cycle here. So let's say it was plugged into outlet one. Um, you can go ahead and power cycle this. You can also just flip it on and off from here too. And once you make any changes, you wanna go down here and press apply changes. Just one more thing to note, you can also change the name of each individual outlet. And um, did not expect the USB Type-C ports to also be power cycleable, 
but they are. So that is really cool. Um, so you could literally have any anything plugged into the Type C ports and have it power cycle or turn it off if you wanted to. That's pretty sweet. You can give the entire power strip a name. Under these tabs is also a uh, just a quick link to <laughs> this up here. Multiple ways to do it. Go figure. You can uh, enable or disable the LED. You can uh, configure the IP address and then manage the device. You can locate it by having the LED light blink. You can restart the device. Uh, you can have custom updates and uh, copy your configuration. Uh, you can trigger a provision, download device info, debug, or you can forget the device if you're trying to get it off of your system. After you make any changes, just go ahead and press apply changes at the bottom here. And that is it, folks. That is the entire overview of the USP Smart Power Strip. All right, so my final thoughts on the Unify Network Smart Power Strip. I think it's a good product if you're already in the ecosystem. It's not anything spectacular. It is pretty much a standard smart power strip. Um, cool functionality with the modem. Uh, cycle power cycle though uh, I don't know of anyone else that has that and it would be kind of hard to set that up in some sort of smart home automation maybe I'm not really sure I couldn't think of a way but overall it does seem like a solid product uh, price is kind of up there for a power strip but you're in that ecosystem so uh, you got to pay those prices to be part of it but that's all right if you like this video Please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps us out and gets me more visibility on the internet here. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, maybe check out some of our other ones on the channel. Pretty much everything all Unify related. If you uh, have another idea or if you want me to talk about something specific, leave it in the comments. I'd appreciate that. And uh, if you want to hire us for consulting, visit us at TotalTechWNC.com. Alright, thank you. Peace.